Hello everybody, I'm Brian Friedman, wine specialist for winechateau.com, and today we're going to be tasting an interesting blend from Argentina. Before we even talk about this particular wine though, I think we have to address the issue of what exactly Argentina is for most consumers, because for a very long time, Argentina was pretty much synonymous with Malbec, the great red grape uh, of the Mendoza region of so much of that country. I've had great Malbecs in Patagonia, in San Juan, uh, Mendoza, I mean, it's, it's just, it's the great Argentine uh, red grape. But the truth is, Argentina is a country of much more range than the vast majority of consumers give it credit for. And I will tell you, in the next several years, you're going to see so many great wines, red and white, from Argentina, from grape varieties you might never have imagined before. Cabernet, Tempranillo, Torrantes, the Great White, a lot of you might be familiar with that, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, whatever it might be, really, really exciting stuff happening in Argentina. Huge believer in it, huge fan of it. Which brings us to this wine today. We have the Agostino Familia 2007. This is from Mendoza, and uh, I'm going to cheat here on the back. Uh, the blend is 50% Malbec, 20% Syrah, 20% Cab Sauvignon, and 10% Merlot. So this is something that, uh, I don't know, I, I would say you see this on the shelves and you might be attracted to it because you haven't had this kind of blend from Argentina before. I fear some people might be made a little bit nervous because it's not just Malbec. I promise you and I beg you, if you give this a try, if you give these blends, these other grape varieties a try as well from Argentina, I promise you, you will be rewarded tremendously. Let's give this one a try. Give it a swirl and a smell. I'll tell you what's interesting here is I'm getting some of that cherry fruit, cherry liqueur, some of that darker plum that I expect, but this is really a red defined by its spices. There's everything in here from black and green and white peppercorns to something that reminds me a little bit of dill. There's certainly some cedar in here. There's a lot of graphite. Um, it's a very interesting, unexpected wine. And for that reason, I really like it. See how it tastes. The fruit is starting to come out. We've had this open for about 10 minutes now. Uh, it's still quite tannic. The acid is still a bit elevated. It's in balance though, certainly. And while it is very much still defined by its spices, there's almost a little bit of unexpected, like a hint of toasted fennel back there. Very, very interesting. Um, despite, you know, th this fruit that we're starting to get, it's still a spice defined wine. I enjoy this. I think it's unexpected. I think this is exactly the kind of thing we should be looking for from grape var varieties or blends from countries or, or regions or appellations that we're not necessarily used to. Really interesting, rewarding expression of what Mendoza in Argentina can do. Fascinating. I think this is going to keep on getting better for the next several years. Drinkable right now, certainly, but I'd stick with something in the steak department to enjoy with it. Um, I don't think you're going to be disappointed here. Interesting stuff. So, thank you for stopping by. As always, I'm Brian Friedman, wine specialist for winechateau.com. And until next time, cheers. And today we're speechering, we're speechering? We hope that you enjoy your wine. Don't forget to, un don't forget to, the grapes are picked, the grapes are crushed. I had a really awkward pause there, and I think we're gonna start again.